Last fall, public health officials representing Clark, Cowlitz, Skamania, and Wakayakum counties, and the Cowlitz tribe, decided to direct limited supplies of H1N1 vaccine to priority populations. They held vaccine clinics at schools and daycare centers, health departments, shopping malls, and other locations. We had several volunteers who gave quite a few hours. Um, we had two that gave over 75 hours within 60 days. Um, we had one volunteer who I called and said, hey, Wakai comes out of vaccine, we need to get up there in an hour. He said, I'll be over your place in 20 minutes. And he came over, drove it all the way to Wakai come and back, which is quite a drive, 75 miles each way. Health departments in the four county region were hit hard by budget cuts and staffing reductions and lacked resources for this effort. Fortunately, they could draw upon a network of community volunteers. Most of these people have never done a vaccination clinic. Um, we've never had to do them in this kind of incident before. And so we do, it's called just in time training. And so we have certain people in our department who are trained to do certain positions. And then what we do is we gather them all right before the clinic starts and give them a brief 20 minute, this is what we need you to do. It's a specific task, a specific role. And they just get their 20 minutes training and then go in. Volunteers came from the Medical Reserve Corps, Search and Rescue, Neighbors on Watch, Volunteer Mobilization Center, American Red Cross, CERT, and our local emergency operations center. In all, 350 volunteers provided almost 3,600 hours of service, helping public health vaccinate more than 20,000 people. At the time that we were doing this, we had a lot of, there was a lot of um, coverage in the press about the H1N1, and, and a lot of, you know, the president was speaking about it a lot. And um, we had a huge number of people turn out. Um, to get vaccinated and I think that that was our biggest challenge was was how do we get everybody um, that shows up vaccinated and um, I think they answered it real well. Volunteers served as vaccinators, parking attendants and flow monitors. They helped with registration, screening, forms collecting and insurance scanning. When they later evaluated their experience, virtually all the volunteers expressed satisfaction at having contributed to the community's well-being and helped public health accomplish something that would otherwise have been impossible. The H1N1 was a, is a serious problem and, you know, it's a pandemic and um, it, it, was, it was rewarding to be involved and we had a lot of really favorable comments. Um, everybody was real happy with the way it, way it flowed and the, you know, and so um, that was the biggest reward for me.